Last year, I had the opportunity to address you all at conference when we gathered together at Oxford Brookes University. Looking at all these photographs of a packed auditorium, it seems hard to think that this was only last year. The last six months are completely surreal. It came out of nowhere. Nobody predicted this crisis. It's a health crisis and an economic crisis. It's a global crisis. It's a demand shock. It's a supply shock reverberating all the ways through the supply chain, not just domestically, but around the world. And what has happened is during this period, we around the world have adapted and adopted. There's a mantra that I've always followed in business, adapt or die. And here we are having a virtual conference using technology like this that Satya Nadella of Microsoft, who went to the same school as I did in Hyderabad in India, said in the midst of this crisis that it's taken two months to adopt technology that would have taken well over two years. And this is amazing in the way in which we've done this. I was delighted when Enterprise Educators UK approached me to be your patron. And I asked, uh, what would my role be? And of course, one of them is to take part in the annual conference. And this year, I asked, is it going to happen? This, of course it is. We're going to do it online. And I was very kindly asked to open this year's online conference by celebrating the role of enterprise educators. I know that for many of you, that IEEC is your annual opportunity for professional updating, learning, exchanging, a chance to catch up on the latest, see best practice and share your experiences. And I know this allows you to start the academic year knowing that you're doing the best that you can for your students and your institution. In my role as patron, it's a pleasure to put you, the enterprise educator, in the spotlight for a change and take some time together to look at the achievements of some of the enterprise educators working within the sector. As an associate of EEUK, you will already know that EEUK is run by a board of directors who give their time voluntarily, and it is therefore a unique privilege to take time to honor one of the former directors to mark a significant contribution to the board. Today, I would like to mark the achievements of Professor Sarah Underwood by awarding her an honorary fellowship. Sarah is Professor of Entrepreneurial Practice and Director of Executive and Professional Education at the University of Leeds. Sarah joined the EEUK board in 2013 and took up an executive role straight away. Following her role as treasurer, she was elected as vice chair in 2016, and in 2017-18, took on the leadership of the organization as chair. During her year as chair, Sarah launched the new EEUK brand and website, established EE Global, and personally led the development of the EEUK Fellowship, which is now one of EEUK's flagship programs. Congratulations, Sarah. As well as recognizing this significant contribution to EUK itself as honorary fellows, EUK has under Sarah's leadership created the only professional enterprise educators, the EEUK Fellowship. EUK only awards its fellowship to those who have successfully demonstrated their professional competence through the successful submission of a written portfolio. Today, it is my privilege to welcome nine new EEUK Fellows, bestowing the unique title of EEUK Fellowship to the following individuals. Dr. Ali Emmerth, Emma Bonfilio, Lindsay Cole, Neil Coles, Dr. Chris Moon, Dr. Robert Phillips, Ruth Rowe, 
Chris Shannon and Marek Dorokarski. Many, many congratulations to all of you. I wish you an excellent conference at this crucially important time in history. No more time has entrepreneurship or more, more important. I started my business, Cobra Beer, in the midst of a recession three decades ago. I have weathered recessions during that period and nearly lost my business three times. And there is one word that sums up entrepreneurship more than any other, and that is the word guts. The guts to do it in the first place, but the guts to stick with it when others would give up. Well, there is no more daunting and challenging a time than now. And the test of leadership is not in the good times. It is in the times of adversity. And today we face real adversity, real uncertainty, real ambiguity looking ahead. This is the opportunity for all of you to champion entrepreneurship. And I thank you for doing this because innovation, creativity, entrepreneurship, if our students can be aware of and learn those skills and have the confidence to be creative, innovative, and entrepreneurial, it's going to stand them in good stead, whatever they do in their careers, including becoming entrepreneurs themselves. And at a time like this, that is needed more than ever. So the best definition of luck that I've ever heard was in the Harvard Business School classroom, luck is when determination meets opportunity. And in spite of this environment, there are huge opportunities in front of us. Let's be determined. Let's grasp them. Thank you again for what you're doing. And I wish Enterprise Educators UK all the very best. And I'm privileged and proud to be your patron. Thank you very much.